Mislabeling dogs have put many dogs in kill shelters. Bite statistics have been falsely accounted for, resulting in BSL laws, and thousands of dogs will never find a home just because they're wrongfully assumed to be a breed that they're not. The only way to be 100% positive that a dog is purebred is with the presence of a pedigree from a reputable breeder. It's important that the breeder is reputable as even pedigrees can be faked, known as hanging. Because breed standards do exist and they do outline what a dog should look like both physically and how they should behave according to their temperament, you could look at a dog and get a very good educated guess on which breed or breeds it may be, but that would not give you a definite answer on if the dog actually is those breeds without the presence of a pedigree. Without a pedigree, your dog's breed is essentially a guessing game. Even DNA tests have shown very questionable results. Leave a comment. Do you own a real American Pitbull Terrier? You should put down how much your dog weighs and the color of your dog. I'm curious on what you guys have out there. Pedigree databases understand your involvement in your favorite bloodlines and help you keep track of them through their various services. They help you determine the pedigree of the American Pitbull Terrier. Getting to know the pedigree of your Pitbull helps you in examining its ancestry and understanding your dog's strength and weaknesses. If you are also into breeding, then this information is invaluable, but even if you aren't, it definitely leaves you with a better understanding of your companion. Now, as far as the build of the American Pitbull Terrier, you can check out this other video on the body standard of the real Pitbull. In this video, I go over the specifics on what the American Pitbull Terrier should look like. I will put a link in the description where you can go check that out. Now, real quick, I want to show you a quick visual on the different bully breeds that people often mistake as another. But before I do, if you're new to the channel, this channel is dedicated to becoming better owners for the bully breeds. Stay updated with any videos we make on these breeds by subscribing to the channel. As you can see, these dogs are very different. The American Bully is a bit larger in size from 70 to 120 pounds. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a little smaller in size. The Amstaff can range from 60 to 85 pounds. And the American Pit Bull Terrier can range from 30 to 60 pounds. Now these are not the exact guidelines of weight and colors, but take a good look at how all these are different. Compare the body structure, the head size, the stance of these dogs. If you can't trace down the pedigree, the next best thing you could do is take a credible DNA test. I will link the best one I could find on the market with accurate results in the description. Just keep in mind, DNA results are not always accurate. If you are unsure what breed of dog you have, the best thing you could do is say it's a mix or a mutt. There's nothing wrong with saying you're not sure what dog you have if you're just a simple pet owner. You might have a pit bull, a staffy, an amstaff, or a mix of another breed that really is just a guessing game at this point. Mislabeling dogs have put many dogs in kill shelters. Bite statistics have been falsely accounted for, resulting in BSL laws, and thousands of dogs will never find a home just because they're wrongfully assumed to be a breed that they're not. Listen, at the end of the day, the number one goal and the most important thing is to have a healthy and fulfilled dog that is taken care of. Be the best owner that you can be. If you want to learn a little more about the American Pitbull Terrier's history, I will put a video at the end where you can go click on that right after this video. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out.